Hello and welcome back. I hope you fed, I hope you watered, I hope you rested, I hope you have no cracking time zone. Yes, I am recording these back to back. We were just here, absolutely. I just saw this chest. Can we have this? No? Rude. Arden's is now open. So when we left off, we were making um curse lifting candies. Yeah, words. We were making curse lifting candies so that we could get the gold, so that we could pay for stew with Arden so that he'd tell us about the Gargar bird that is currently blocking our path. So let's see what he has to say. It better be good information, I swear. I swear, Arden, don't do me dirty here. Um, I always have plenty of pepper ready. What's going on? Um, the Gargar bird, please. It's best to avoid that crazy bird, I know. I really need to get through mm, and have some beef stew in the meantime, and I think. Wow, that looks delicious. 30 gold coins. See? You can't just be like, um, well, you should have some stew, but it, you know, like, oh, rude. I mean, not really, but <laughs> you said you have to go through Gaga Bird, didn't you? Uh, yes, I will eat. Beef stew made by Arden. I'm not sure what exactly is in it, but it tastes really good. Oh, I love beef stew as well. Delightful. Yes. Um, it's difficult unless you can't hear at all. Well, you're a witch after all. I thought you'd have come up with something before asking me. That's it? Wait, is there such a potion? Is that it? You, I ran around. I ran around. I ran around like an a-hole. Let's go talk to Diane. Diane might have like a deafening potion or something. I ran around like a little butthole trying to get money together and stuff for that dude how dare he what a butt arden arden i'm sorry you've just you've just earned yourself some butt points from me the audacity the butt points right diane hello ellie do you have any questions gaga bird i don't know about that story my goal is to get off work on time okay we'll tell you what in the shop the witch's catalogue right yeah give me the witch's catalogue recipe earmuff potion brilliant and i have enough money for it this item costs 10. do you wish to proceed yes thank you have a nice day goodbye goodbye diane thank you okay okay that's perfect what do i need for it Earmuff potion. Oh no, wait, I need to use the thing. Yeah, there we go. Also, uh, now we have beef stew. That's nice. Okay, has the effect of keeping the drinker from perceiving noises. Be careful, it may affect your ability to communicate if you don't focus carefully on the noise you want to avoid when drinking it. Okay, so we need one one eye frog roast, wetland grass water, and blue moon butterfly extract. Okay, so we need two one eyed frogs, and I'm pretty sure we only have the one let me double check actually let me double check hopefully hopefully i got like two of everything but i know myself and i know i haven't yeah exactly we have one of each so we only need to really go and get one of each but we've got enough of the butterflies i believe do i do i have enough of the butterflies we do perfect let me check we actually have to extract it yeah we do there we go. There we go. That's perfect. Oh. As soon as I start recording, I get like the biggest itch. That's so rude of my body. How dare it? Rude. Right. Um. That's done. That's fine. We just need one one-eyed frog and some of the, the wetland grass. Super duper easy. Super simple. We can, we're going to crack it out. Don't you worry about it. Don't even worry. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Problem is, I just realised, the one-eyed frogs only come out in the night time, don't they? Balls. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, so now I've got one more wetland grass. That's gorgeous. Love that for us. Oh, they're so cute! Let's pet their little bellies. Yes, please. Aren't they the sweetest things? Aren't they so cute? You can pet their little bellies. Hi. Yeah, hey, yeah, let me pet you again. Let me pet you again. Okay. 
Okay, um, how much space? We have space for one more kind of collectible. So I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna get some maple herbs just because they appear to be one of the most common ingredients and they're really annoying to get sometimes. So, may as well just grab a couple of those. Grab a dangle mango, why not? And then um, maybe we should get some more wetland grass while we're here. Perfect. Uh-huh. Let's move away from the damn bird. Um, and at the very least, what we can do is we can go and roast the wetland grass because I think we have to roast it right no no we just have to extract it we need the wetland grass juice um yeah okay and then it's just the the, the frogs then it's just the frogs that's nice and easy super easy uh please allow me to make some wetland grass water thank you Perfect. So I'm just going to put those away. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just going to put the maple herb away because there's going to come a day where I think I have maple herbs, but I just have extract. So I'm just going to put them away. Put those back away. Put the mangoes away. I'll keep these with me. They seem like important things. And then I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go to the village and we're going to go and expand our inventory. Right? Let's go give ourselves some more, some more pockets. That's what we all wish we we all had. Just just all the pockets, extra pockets everywhere, please, please. We wish for pockets. Yes, we do. Um, I believe it's you I can buy pockets from now. Hi, Aria. Welcome. Do you need anything? Um. Let me shop from you. What have you got? Oh, I saw it. Expand bag. I saw it. Life with mushrooms, compendium of mushrooms, mud boots. We can have mud, piece of, you know, you know what? I can, I can get all of those things. What I would like is to expand my bag, right? A bag that is four spaces larger costs 180? No, because I don't have that because stupid Arden took 30 gold off of me. Because he's a stinky. <laughs> Damn it! So rude. And I know I should be making more money by making little potions and stuff, but like I just... <laughs> I just wanna... I just wanna progress with the story. I'll get two of you, thank you. I'll get some more terrier fur. Because... Oh my god, I, I actually suck. There we go. Honestly, it's probably the hardest thing to collect. So, grabbing just good amounts of it when we can makes a lot of sense. Thank you. So, we're just going to spend a day collecting. I think I think that's a smart move. Just while we wait for it to become nighttime, when we can collect some more of the frogs, let's just collect all of the ingredients that we can possibly get, so that future future potion crafting is just that that much easier, right? Let me do one of these. Thank you. Perfect. One more, one more tug on the fur. No! I lost progress. It's so upsetting. <laughs> the little, the, oh, the area in which you can actually grab them is just so tiny. It's so tiny and I cannot get it all the time. I've got to improve my terrier fur getting, right? There we go. A little bit extra terrier fur. That's what we like to see. Ah, perfect. 
There we go. Grab one of these as well. And we'll wait for them to flower, right? Ah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Grab a cheeky little bird flower. Grab one of these bad boys. Grab another maple herb. Oh no. Am I full? Am I actually full? I am full. Let's see if we can get some more bird flowers. Come on! Give us a little flower. Yeah, thank you. Give us a little flower. Just a nice little flower. There. No! Perfect. All right, let's 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 get our stuff home. I'm pretty sure we should be able to collect a frog now. So let's, let's heck and go. Let's go. And we just got like a whole bunch of ingredients. This is perfect. Stuff we don't have to necessarily worry about in the future. Like witches herbs, we're just, we're just gonna have so many of them. Witches herbs, so many of them. Those little bug things that come out of the bushes, so many of them. Don't even gotta worry about it. No one's, no one's worrying about it. We've got it all. We've got it all. Right, uh, away you go. Thank you. Uh, move all. Perfect. Look at us go. Look at us go. Right, let's make sure we've got this selected. Then we'll go out. The broom's nearly dead. So we may have to go on another... Um, on another... We can, we can collect some branches while we're out, right? Let me shake this tree. Because with armed with like a, a an armory of branches, we can we can get a lot of a lot of mileage back on the old broom, you know. This is a good amount good amount of branches. I'll have this one as well, please. Thank you. Right, let's go grab ourselves a cheeky little frog. That bloody bird, I swear to God. Perfect. I know there's more of you. I know there's more little frogs, and like, while I'm here, I may as well. No! No! Why do I suck? Why do I, why am I like this? Okay, well we got some more frogs. So that's, that's something. <laughs> we, we got some more. That's, that's enough for me. <laughs> more than we needed. So let me get the old broom out. that's going to need repairs imminently so we can do that while we're down here as well because we need to dry them or the roast the frogs i think we roasting the frogs yeah how many two one-eyed frogs we have two on us so this is perfect and then we have one extra which can go with the other one extra that we have right let's um Let's do that as well. Let's get some more broom going, right? Keep fixing the broom up. Okay, just a couple more seconds. Completed. I will take that. So what else do we need? We need wetland grass water and blue moon butterfly extract. Wetland grass water. Wetland grass water. Wetland grass water? Um... Where's all my wetland? Oh, it's right. I put it in here. <laughs> okay, and then we want to set to stage one and go left. Stage one and go left. Yes. Yay! <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so we just want to, we want to apply the potion to ourselves. We wish to apply the potion to ourselves. We can't go very far. Ah, oh, but, but the broom. We have so much room in the broom. We don't need stamina when we've got room in the broom, baby. We don't need it. Okay, so we just need to apply the earplugs potion. Cute. Go away. Ah, we got rid of it. Heck yeah. Great, no big deal. That's being a bit cruel to the Gaga bird, no? You mean that thing is being cruel to me? I missed the train because of that bird. It's not. <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> I love Ellie's just like, I'm just not listening to this hat. Let's hurry and find the prickly vine core. Do I still have everything I need on me? Yes. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Hold on. Oh, there are new birds. Oh, what's this as well? Is this something I can. Can I? No, you're just you're just a nice shiny thing. You're just a nice shiny thing. I can appreciate a nice shiny thing. I can't draw you because I don't have stamina for it. Interesting. Interesting. Is there somewhere around here that one could take a nap? For instance. Mayhap. Could be kind of cool if I could take a nap, no? Ooh, a signpost. Where does it go? Okay, my guess though, my guess is that there's something up here. This is where we want... This is going to be the nucleus. What is that noise? Wow, what's this? A garden door? Why is something like this here? I think they were trying to block something. A place like this? Who? What? From what? Looking at how the prickly vines are connected, I think the nucleus is inside. Did someone make it to protect the nucleus? It seems to be the case. We need to open this door first. There must be a witch pattern somewhere like the other doors in the forest. But I don't think I've ever seen anything like that while walking around the forest. Oh wait! Something's dropped over here. A chalk? Blue chalk. It's wrapped in crinkly paper. I don't think there was any blue pattern around here. Hmm, it's on the tip of my tongue. There was something similar at home. Hmm. Blue. Oh! The place where I saved Rub Rum. I think I saw a blue pattern. There was something behind it. Let's go there. Okay. So now we've got to go to... What is that noise? <laughs> what is like wandering around making that noise so now we've got to go to where Rubram was because there was a door behind him and I'm assuming that's what we're going to look at right so I'm assuming we've got to go through that door find a bunch of stuff and then come back through this door oh oh so much so much intrigue so much so much intrigue okay well at least that's just open now right that's just like that's set. We don't have to worry about that anymore. That's fine. Um, okay. Let's get this bad boy out. And go around to where we found Rob Rum, which is like over this way, I think? Not, not there. Not there. No, there's another place. Right? Where was it? Was it over here? Not there. Where the heck was it? Where was the place we found Rubrum? Not here. I love that you can just like bonk the... <laughs> you can just bonk the, the witch's broom into everything and I love it. Oop, excuse me. Oop. Please excuse me. It wasn't up there, was it? No. That's ridiculous. Wouldn't be up there. 
Right, I'm going to unlock this area. I think that's the best thing that we can do. But also it's very late and we have to sleep. So let's get back. <laughs> Before the game forces us to sleep, let's just go and do it ourselves. Like the grown people that we are. Let's go to sleep. Yes, please. Ah, oh, Ellie, it's time to get up. Hmm, maybe because I'm a witch. It's morning, stop sleep talking and wake up. I'm only a witch. Miracle morning. Yikes. <laughs> I love her angry face. I love it so much. <laughs> what kind of dream is this obnoxious? Huh? You're right. What kind of dream was that? Why do we have such vivid dreams? I am fascinated. I can't remember what the, the the layout was. Where do we... How did we get to where Robram was? I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna unlock it with some witch's chalk that I found. Because why the heck why the heck not? Because I can. Because I hecking can. Give me the give me the damn witch's chalk. So we need to go down to like the wetland area. Or we could reverse engineer it, realistically, right? I think we can reverse engineer it and refind where we have to go. In fact, I'm pretty sure we can. Let's do it. I should have thought of that. I didn't think of that and I should have thought of that. And you know what? That's that's my bad. So if we come up here, we should be able to reverse engineer because we initially came from the Rubrum area, right? That's how we got here. Bye little birdies. Little oh, excuse you? Did I not notice that before? How did I not notice that before? Also, we did not reverse engineer it like I thought we were going to. We ended up somewhere entirely different. Where does this go? Oh! Oh, what? What is going on? Can I not mess with any of this? What's with all the secrets? Please. I can't, I can't drop here, unfortunately. Can I like come across here? But that's the bridge that we need to get to. So I just need to figure out how to get there from over here. How do, can I can I skip through here? That would be lovely. No, it's not allowed. Kind of rude. I'm not gonna lie. I would like very much to go that way. What's up this way? Okay. That's not that's not the way. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just unlock it because I can't remember how the heck we got to the little rub rum part. I can't remember. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. <laughs> like, how do we do it? Found it. Fine. Don't worry. I found it. So there's a blue pattern up here, right? That's what we were looking for. Should I draw the witchy pattern again using one witch's blue chalk? Yes, please. Yes, please, Ellie. All right, I drew the witch's pattern again. Let's unlock it. Oh, it's working. It's opening. All right, let's go in. Wow. What is this place? Looks like some kind of puzzle, Virgil. It's a very suspicious and unnatural sight. Stop ruining this, Virgil. That looks like a seesaw and a weight. Who made something like this? It feels similar to the ones we saw in the forest. Let's solve this puzzle first. 
Bakayla, right? Bakayla, right? Of course. Don't ask twice. Okay. Ooh! I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I think I should be able to hang the weight on the hook. Should I do it? Yes. So yeah, we wanted them to push the buttons, right? Push the button and let me know. If I get it got bigger. I smell something fishy here. Look around you. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> it does, I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little bit trappy. It does feel a smidge trappy, but like, at the same time. I can't get to the, I can't get to the damn nucleus. And this is why you bring the damn thingy pat, the thingy, the, the damn we terminate a potion. What did I say? I knew I'd need another one. I, I heckin' knew it. Right, please go away and then I can... Yes, baby! Yes! This is why you just, you carry extra little things with you. This is why it happens. I think I should be able to hang away on the hook. Should I do it? Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Um. Can I not? Oh, no. No, not another growth potion. What do I need for a damn growth potion? God damn it, nutrition potion. It's so expensive. <laughs> Luckily for us, we collected extra stuff. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue just making this potion and coming straight back. But it's still like a small pain in my keister, you know? Like a little. God damn it. I knew I should have been more prepared. That's on me. That's my bad. That's my bad. I should have been more prepared. I should have known. Oh, great, I need to remember where this place is. Okay, so there's like two trees and a split rock. Two trees and a split rock. Two trees and a split rock. Two trees and a split rock and you have to go up for it. You have to go up. It's necessary that one goes up in that situation. So it's um, is it maple herb, squish chub, and the silver bells? Bush bug, maple herb, bush bug, which we have, and the silver silver bell things. So I have enough. We're fine. And I think it's all extracts, right? Yeah. Let's make all three extracts real quick. Look at me. Look at me going. Look at me going. With the ingredients already at home. Like a little baddie. Hell yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I was like, mm, we should probably prepare. We should probably prepare. And we did. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Stage three to the right. Stage three to the right. Stage three to the right makes a potion. Cling. Let's go! Hopefully this works and that I've not just like made the incorrect potion to try and get through here. Could you imagine? I'd be, I'd be so upset. I'd be, I'd be so mad at myself. I would have wasted resources! Oh yeah. Tokyo Drift, baby. Can I get... I would love to have a a broom with a higher durability because this is about to leave this world this broom is about to die yeah there it goes <laughs> bye broom you were good to us okay so now yeah nutrition potion arm ourselves with it 
and then we we aim perfect does it raise is it going to raise a little bridge yes yes give me give me the damn red chalk give it to me give it to me i want it i'm ready but wait what does this do i can't not if someone puts a lever in front of you you're gonna you guns to pull the lever you know you got to You've got to. What does it do? Okay. How exciting. I'm so excited. Let's go back. Did it work? Did something happen? I'm not sure. Hmm. All right, let's go to the place where the garden door was. Yeah, let's let's just go. Let's go immediately. I have to know. I have to know what's going to happen. I'm too excited. <laughs> I'm too excited. Let's, let's go. I should really unlock that door, but like at the same time. I have a, I have a bonus witch's chalk now, you know? The day is still young and I, st I, I have time. I have time to walk. I have time, what, I can't make time to walk? Let's go. <laughs> but realistically, I should, I should just unlock that door. I should unlock it. But I like I feel like there's gonna be something else that I really want to unlock and I can get around that door. I wanna save the chalk for like a point in time where maybe I can't get around a door, but I can have a chalk, because that would be nice. And it could save me some money or some time. This is so exciting. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, the latch came off. It just opens. I knew it. Now let's pray that there is a prickly vine nucleus behind this. Or something fun. Yes. What is that little... Okay. Why is it in a bird cage? I found it. It's the prickly vine nucleus. But it's covered with something. What's that? Gigantic bird cage? Birdcage is a tool to lock up something. Yeah, but it's a tool to lock up birds. I know that much. Yeah. Now it looks like it's being used to protect the prickly vine nucleus. Hmm. What if I use the potion without removing the birdcage? It's not a normal birdcage. We must remove it. Look, the pattern on the floor is the same color as the chalk I got from solving the puzzle earlier. They must have hidden the key to the birdcage there. Good, then I guess we can open it right away. So we just investigate, yeah? Should I draw the witch pattern again using one witch's red chalk? Yes, please, Ellie. All right, I drew the witch pattern again. Thank you, Ellie. Did we get a key? Oh, yes, it's gone. Okay. Investigate. Use Tears of the Moon? Yes, please. Are we gonna, we're about to unvine the village. I'm so excited. Are we about to unvine this village? All right. Now I also removed the birdcage that was protecting the nucleus. Ready? Okay. Okay, here goes. Did we do it? Is it done? I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we did it. And they're all gonna go away. And now the village is vineless. It's vineless. We did it. Wow, it worked. Good, this probably got rid of the village's prickly vines as well. Yeah. Now I can bring Kyla to the village. Let's hurry up and go to the village. <gasps> now we can send a letter to Kyla. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. Let's let's go. Let's go. I want to talk to the villagers. I want to get I want to get their input. I want to know what's what they're feeling. How happy they are. How much money they want to give me. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was a little tip. They're the tingle spiders. Hold on. Can I please? I would like to draw you. And there's a sleeping bird in that tree. I'm I'm assuming I have to get you with a, yeah, with a web. 
And it has a witch who hates spiders curse them to make those sounds in hopes of being alerted to nearby spiders. They are fast to escape the treetops should they be alarmed. So take care when approaching them, right? So we just do this. Fuck. We gotta, we gotta just get a little bit closer. There we go. I got a tinkle spider. I hate it. But we've got tinkle spiders now. So that's that's pretty cool. Actually, the birds in the trees, can I draw them up there? Yes, yes I can. What are you guys? Pom-poms. They dislike being touched, so they tend to shy away from people. You must approach them while avoiding their gaze. It's best to stop and wait should they become wary of you. They will approach things that glow without caution as curiosity gets the better of them. Okay, so we can maybe drop like a glowing lure on the ground. Maybe that's how we, we get them in the future. I didn't want to do that. Let's, let's go to the village. Let's go to the village. I want to know. I want to know if there's some sort of commotion there. Does someone pop up? Like, have we angered some witch? The witch that used to live in the cabin that we're living in? Have we angered them by releasing the vines? Is something happening? Or is it just going to be, like, regular? Ellie, I see you got rid of the prickly vines. Yeah, I got rid of them. That's awesome. Then I guess Kylo will be coming back. Oh, I love the way his little eyes sparkle. Is it not the sweetest thing? I'm so fucking cute. Look! Bubba's! Anite, I got rid of the prickly vines! I saw it indeed. You really did it. Thanks to Anite and others for telling me about the prickly vines. Thank you to you and others. <laughs> Still, you're the one who did it. Good job. Now let's call the people and also bring the village back to normal. Okay, Ellie, I think I can do it with you. Then are you going to contact Kyla now? Yes, I wrote the letter in advance. The mailman doesn't come anymore, but you could give it to the peddler instead. I'll give her the letter. You would? Thank you. The peddler also happens to be at the village, so please hand it to her. We're at the village, and I... <laughs> okay, and um, can I send my letter as well? Of course. Can I ask what you wrote? Um, you're always we. Oh, okay. We, you're always welcome. I'm waiting for you. Um, I want to see you soon. Yeah, I read that I want to see her soon. Tyler would be happy too. Then I'll leave it to you. Okay, so now we have a letter that we can give. Let's go talk to Aurea before she goes away. I have a favour to ask today. Huh? What is it? Tell me. Can you give this letter to Kyla? Although I usually don't do it for free. I'll think of it as payment for getting rid of the prickly vines. Aurea gets it. Aurea gets it. Thank you, Aurea. Well, thank you. I guess I'll see Kyla again after a long time. Where's Kyla now? I think Kyla always wanted to come back. Last I heard... She was helping out at the old smithy she used to work at. I hope she comes back soon. Me too. I'll give her the letter as soon as possible. The earliest she will arrive is tomorrow. Yes! I'll be waiting. I don't need anything. Thank you. So the carpenter might be here tomorrow, which means we might be able to get the houses up and running again, which is just awesome. Oh, so we wait for Kyla and also we want to upgrade our work tools. So just before the, the peddler goes, just before Oreo goes properly, we should see if we can buy any tools that might help us or improve us. I don't think so. All right, let's go. Let's go. So now we sleep and we wait for the next day. Hell yeah. 
Oh my goodness. And on that note, we are going to leave this one here as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're staying fed. I hope you're staying watered. And I hope you're staying rested. Take care of yourselves, friends. May you have a crack in time zone. And I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.